Hello, good morning, and welcome back to another edition of The Good, The Bad, The Ugly, The Just Review Show, brought to you by the Department in Howard Vapors. Now, the three I'll be looking at today, I'll be finishing off the range from Bacon Vape. So that'll be the Royce Krispies Treat and Vanilla Ice Cream. The Salted Caramel Fudge Donut. Wow, that's a bit of a mouthful. And also the cocky, Cookie Dough Cinnamon and Cream. Have got to say for the rate, any views or opinions you've during this review are mine and mine alone. I've not been paid to do this view. I did pay at a reduced rate for the product at Vape Jam last the other weekend. Also got to say, individual taste setups and of course power levels will alter what you get from a juice. I can only personally tell you what I'm getting myself. The weapon of choice today will be the Geek Vape Blade. That's got the EH Pro Model M Dripper, dual cord to 0.27. Right, as always, we'll start off with labels, given safety features and all that lot. And then we'll crack on to the actual juice review. Labels. I do kind of like the labels. But it's colourful, but not quite in a, in a too kiddie five way. I, it basically, it tells you exactly what you need to know on there for the flavour-wise. Um, as you see, these, when purchased, were a 25ml short fill, to which you add a 5ml of nicotine or VG, depending on what you want. So if you have 5 mil of an 18 milligram nick, you will get a 3, round about a 3. If you add just obviously pure VG, you will get a 0. Um, we've got the wart, we've got the caution, keep out the reach of children and pets, toxic contact with skin. And that's in about five different languages there. Um, we've got the made in Britain. And we've also got the recycling. Now, unfortunately that's where it ends. Um, this is an e-liquid. I kind of need to see the do not sell to under 18s. This is an over 18 product. It's not on here. It's a bit of a, it's a bit of a bigger. So we've got the batch code and also the use by date there. But there's no, not for use for under 18s. It says keep out the reach of children on there, but it should have the sign on here to say not for the, not for sale to under 18s. I kind of wish they had the pregnant woman sign on there as well, but um, yeah, signage, it needs it, it needs it. Just because it's being sold as a zero, it needs it on there. Because there is a very, very incredibly high percentage chance that people will be adding nicotine to this. It needs that on it. Anyway, um, childproof lid, as per always, as it always bloody well should be. And as you can see around the top bit there, we've got the tampering. If that tampering is anyway damaged, broken, or missing, demand another product. It is there for your peace of mind. Um, I've got to say, these weren't particularly hard to get off, uh, which is good. Because some of the ones I've been having, I've, I've nearly thrown the juice across the room when it finally does come out. That's been quite easy to actually put the nick shot in there. So, well, I'm, uh, I'm not going to start with the cinnamon one, because cinnamon can always leave a bit of a taste. So I'm going to start with the salted caramel fudge donut. That's a lot of... As always, I'll do this at three power levels. Because we all know juice can... Different flavours react at different temperatures. Right, that's it. We're loaded up. Here we go. As always, we'll start off at 3.7. Starting off at 50.8 watts. Here we go. First off the bat, no throat hit. Always good. Good flow, crown production. I'm assuming this is a 70 30. I should just do a little drip test. I think it's about 70 30. Wow. Salted caramel. Yeah, I'd say that's around about a 70 30 VG PG blend. As I say, nice today, these all will be 3 milligram. Low down, you're definitely getting that donut straight away, and a little uh, is, is a sugary donut type flavor. 
coming through on the exhale. The down donut is quite strong, so you can't get the, a slight fudgy salted caramel at the end. But that seems to grow over time as that donut eases back a bit. It's a really nice salted caramel. I've got to give them credit for that. Yeah. I think going up, it will give that salted caramel a chance to actually mix in with the donut. At the moment, it's a bit separated. It's got a sugary donut on the way in. Salted caramel fudge on the way out. Don't get me wrong, it's a nice combo, but I'd be interested to see how that works all together. So I'm going to go up to 4 volts. I'm going up to 59.4 watts. That salted caramel really does last a long time in the mouth. Cool. It's better than the donut, and I kind of like the donut on the way in. That salted caramel really does add an edge to this. Wow. Wow. I'm going to stop this review here now. <laughs> if you're a fan of donuts, a fan of salt and caramel, give that one a go. Um, wow. It's a shorter donut bit. It's a stronger blast of donut, but it shorter because the salt and caramel has boosted as well. That comes in now about halfway through the inhale. Oh. I don't want to mention a certain donut brand, but it kind of tastes like you've had one from a certain donut brand. It's a bit of a posh donut. They haven't given it that burnt taste that some donuts seem to have. I don't know why. And the caramel they're using is not one that irritates my throat. There are some flavorings caramel flavorings out there that really ripped my throat a new one this isn't one of them it is a very smooth vape so cloud wise you can't falter either oh that's really good i'm gonna go up to 4.2 going up to 65.5 watts i still got that salt and caramel in my mouth for that it's like fudgy end to it Ooh, ooh, that's a bit naughty, that is. Going higher up, that's so... Actually, this is a bit of a power haul, to be fair to it. Going higher up, everything comes together on the tongue at the first, on that inhale. And now it's more the donut that's lasting at the end. Wow. That's really good. But really good, as I said, you're a fan of salted caramel, you're a fan of fudge, you're a fan of donuts. There's something for everyone in that little juice. That is an absolute gorgeous donut. Cannot fault that at all. That is the, what I've just said, from Bacon Vape. Every now and then, I'm going to write a script for this so I don't ramble. Have a quick blowout. I shall move on to the next one. Which is the Rice Krispie Treats and Vanilla Ice Cream. Now this kind of sounds a little bit like one I used to really, really like from um, Grinny uh, Heaths. They had one called the Dirty Sandwich. And I really, really like that. And this kind of sounds a bit like it, so I'll be interested to see what this one's like. Here we go. I'm going to go back down now to 3.7. Oh, I'm going to zoom past it twice. There we are, back to 50.8 watts. Getting a lot of Rice Krispies. But not getting any ice cream at the moment. I'm just getting pure. Not that I don't like Rice Krispies, but when there's supposed to be another flavour in there, you can't anticipate getting it. Um, yeah, kind of just getting the Rice Krispies at the moment. It's a very good Rice Krispies look. Yeah, only getting the Rice Krispies at the moment, so I'm going to go up. 
As to dishing with creamy flavours, they generally need a little bit more power to kick in. So we've gone up to 59.4 watts now, or 4 volts. There it is. The ice cream needs a little bit of power for it to come through. If you've only got this on a low power device, you may not actually anticipate, you may not even get the uh, actual ice cream inside of it. It needs a bit of power to go through it. It's a nice ice cream. It's not overly creamy, but it's enough cream just to make sure it's a, mm, that's nice. Swells in well with the actual Rice crispy element. Kind of tastes like those ones where you used to get like a waffle, uh, you know, a wafer. No, fucking waffle. A wafer, then the ice cream, like that, like an ice cream sandwich. It kind of tastes like that. I'm going to go up to 4.2. Back up to 65.5 watts. It's quite nice. Ice cream coming through a lot better, higher up. Knocks that rice crispy almond a little bit to the back of it, but does come through on the exhale. If I'm going to be 100% honest, I prefer the Grinny Heaths one. Um, they're dirty sandwich. Mainly because it had a jam in it as well. I mean, though this is nice, and that, so that, that, that taste of waffle at the end. Waffle! I keep saying fucking waffle. Wafer at the end. You know, the Rice Krispies element of it is good. I think a little bit of jam in this would have done this a lot of good, to be honest. Um, it's alright. It's all right, but it's just missing that one element. But it is doing exactly what it said on the tin. It is Rice Krispies and ice cream. Yeah, will admit probably a bit meh for me, mainly because I would like to see a, maybe a slight fruit element, fruit jam element added into that as well. But it does exactly what it says. Yes, that is the Rice crispy Treats with vanilla ice cream. Have the Rice Krispies do hang around for a long time. It does give that a kind of wafer effect. But not one for me. <laughs> right, that leads on to the last one, which is the cookie dough. Cinnamon and cream. Yeah, we're right. I cannot shift the taste of Rice Krispies out of my mouth. It gets a little much after a while, actually, if I'm going to be honest. Right, we're going to go back down to 3.7, as we always do. Going back to 50.8. Here we go. Wow, cinnamon. It's not been overdone, but you do get a, quite a blast of cinnamon at the beginning. It's not enough to take your head off, but it's enough to do a good mm. Cream kind of comes in with that as well. Cookie dough element is towards the back. It's mainly the cinnamon on taste. I still taste the cinnamon. It's a little warming on the fruit. There's a lot of cinnamon in this. Yeah, I take back what I can't say, but there is a lot of cinnamon in this because that's kind of blasted out the other two main elements of this juice at this level anyway. Now the cook it's taken too long for that cinnamon to ease down to actually let the cookie the cookie dough come through. It's a nice cookie dough, can't fault it. But it does seem a bit separated out from the other two flavours. So it's mainly this is the cinnamon show with a bit of cream and then eventually when everything's died down a little bit you've still got that cinnamon spiced on the tongue but you then start getting the cookie dough coming through once everything else has calmed down a bit I'm going to go up to 4 volts
gone up to 59.4 watts. The cookie dough needs some power. It does need some power. The cinnamon hasn't actually gone up too much. We've gone in with increase of power, which is good. So I think it's now the cookie dough is coming through. You're now left with a creamy taste in your mouth. Leave it. No dirty comments. I know what you like. It's actually a very pleasant vape now. Now that cookie dough has boosted itself up to match the cinnamon. And I say now you get kind of a creamy cinnamon ending, which is elements of that cookie dough hanging around at the back of the throat. You can feel it every time you breathe out again, you get another blast of cookie dough with a little bit of cream and the cinnamon that's already in the mouth. It's another one I can't fault. I've got to be honest. Um, wow. Already kind of gathering this is going to be one you can play around with. If you like yours more heavily on the cinnamon side, go low down. If you like a happy medium, obviously middle ground. Everything does come together really, really nice. And I'm going to go up to 4.2. Or well, 67 watts. Because my coils have decided to readjust a little bit. And they're now on 0 0.26. 4.2, here we go. Wow, cinnamon does go up a bit higher up, but so does the cookie dough. Kind of lost the cream, so mid ground for me. So if you like more more cinnamon with just a little hint of stuff, I'll go low down. If you like a quite happy, well back, well balanced mix, you go middle. If you like a heavy, uh, uh, a more spicy cinnamon blast, I'd go higher up, but you will lose the cream element. That's only just starting to come through now. Just mainly because that cinnamon cookie just dough actually just blasts out the actual cream element higher up. But I will admit, round about that mid-range, that is quite happily an all-day bait for me. That is the cookie dough, cinnamon and cream. Well, that comes to the end of this review. At least we do now is on behalf of myself, Darren Stone, head of the department in Howard Vapors. I bid you all a very good day. I hope you've enjoyed what you've watched today. If you have enjoyed it, please remember to like, share, comment, and of course, subscribe to the channel. My ugly mug should be appearing here very, very soon. Hit my mug and give us a sub. Catch you later, people.